Hey guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to show you my Q Sugar Weasel SBR. Bought this gun about a year ago. It was a pistol and I SBR'd it. Um, super nice gun. This is like the older version. Um, when I bought mine, they're like 2,300 bucks. And then like a month after I bought it, Q price dropped it to 1,500 bucks and then gave everybody else a better trigger and a better safety. Um, but still love this gun. I have the 5.56 upper. I have thousands and thousands of rounds through that upper. Suppressed and unsuppressed, zero reliability issues. Uh, this is the 300 blackout upper. I've been shooting 300 subs lately. So I uh, got this all dialed in and looked pretty cool. So I was like, hey, I'll just do a video on it. Um, to get into the build a little bit, my light PLHV2, Arasaka mount, Surefire tail cap, mod light button. Hopefully you can see that good in the camera. Same setup uh, as my Space Invader. Uh, that's just what I'm comfortable with. This is the Scout mod light and it's always worked. Never had any issues. Went uh, white light shooting a few times. Works great. Uh, no weird issues with the uh, Surefire's Hellcat. Some people say they have issues, but I've never had any issues. I have an Arasaka finger stop. Hopefully you can see it. And then uh, usually I have a Q Trash Panda, but right now I just have the Q Whistle Tip, which is just like a blast mitigation device because the Q Cherry Bomb, which is under here, is a terrible muzzle device if you don't use a suppressor. You need one of these if it's not going to be suppressed. Uh, for my optic setup, I have an EOTech EXPS 3.0 on the Unity riser. Uh, same thing as my Space Invader. I love holographic sights. Uh, they look, or these holographic sights, the EOTechs, under night vision, they are unparalleled. They look great and they're super crisp. Love the risers. Uh, the whole passive aiming under night vision is super nice. Changed out the ejection port cover for forward control designs ejection port cover. It does nothing, just looks cool. Um, I run Surefeed sure, sure Mags, OK Industries. I don't even think they make them anymore, but have had a lot of problems with Magpul Mags in the past. Uh, straight off the shelf or when I'm shooting for some reason, I, they always break or something. So I switched to these mags like a year ago, around the same time I got this gun. Had zero problems, zero reliability issues. Um, like I said, these came with a uh, standard mil spec safety, changed out for a Radian. I don't love these safeties, but I have one laying around. Prefer the forward control design safety. Um, then this older version comes with the ALG Defense Advanced Combat Trigger, and I love these triggers. I actually have them in a few of my own like Frankenstein builds. Super familiar with them, so that's why I haven't changed it out. They're super crisp triggers. and. Um, I have nothing to complain about them. These come with a Reptilia CQB grip off the shelf, and I hate those grips. I don't know, a lot of people like them, but I don't like them. Uh, so this is just a Magpul K grip. And then for the stock, uh, since it's an SBR, Magpul SL, we can see that. It's a pretty nice stock. I wanted the SLK, but nobody had it around me, so I just threw this on. Kind of looks funky, because the stock is like almost bigger than the gun, but I'm a big dude, so it works out fine for me. But if you're looking to get one of these, especially for the new price of like 1500 bucks, I say do it. I mean, this is an incredible deal. You get an adjustable gas block, super nice barrel. It's a pretty lightweight gun. Um, but yeah, that's my build. And I hope you guys like the video. Let me know what you think.